Let's watch some movement. Hello. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Thank you for joining me again today. I am really excited about today's video because I am going to be watching Moomin. As many of you may know, I am an American person living in the country of Finland currently. I have recently started making YouTube videos. I have done a few videos that are more of a commentary style and I'm really enjoying those, so I'm going to keep doing it. So if you are from Finland or any other Nordic country, you may have grown up reading and or watching the movements. It started as a series of novels by Tove Janssen. I'm reading Wikipedia. I'm educating myself on the Moomins before I watch the first episode. You see Moomins everywhere. You see little figurines or we have like a Moomin store. So I'm very familiar with all of the characters. I just don't know any of their names. I don't know anything about them and I've never seen the show. So this is gonna be me watching Moomin for the first time. Bear with me here, guys. I'm learning. If you're from Finland, you can educate me in the comments. But this is me, this is me learning about Moomin. Okay, cool. I'm gonna read a little bit of the Wikipedia page for anyone who is also learning like me. I'm gonna get my glasses on. They're not reading glasses. They are just blue light glasses. Okay. The Moomins. It's a series of novels, short stories, and a comic strip by Finnish writer and illustrator Tove Janssen, who I did see a couple weeks ago at the Ham Helsinki Art Museum. I saw her whole display and it was wonderful and it inspired me to learn more about her life and about all of her works, including Moomin. And I really, really like her. I think she is super cool and super inspiring. So she created Moomin. It was originally published in Swedish in Finland. It was published in the language of Swedish. In Finland. The Moomins are a family of white, round, fairy tale characters with large snouts that make them resemble a hippo hip a hip a hippopotamus. <laughs> However, despite this resemblance, the Moomin family are trolls. Okay, they're trolls. The family live in their house in Moomin Valley and have many adventures with their various friends. Nine books were released in the series together with five picture books and a comic strip being released between 1945 and 1993. That's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Moomin toys from the 1950s. Look at those. They're so cute. I have a feeling I am really, really gonna love this. You know when you like, you like hear your favorite song for the first time and then you don't know it's your favorite song yet, but you wish you could go back to like when you were a teenager or something, when you heard that song that's like your favorite song. I feel like that's where I am right now because I'm about to watch something that I think I'm really gonna love. And I just wanna savor this moment, you know? Okay, let's watch some movement. Without further ado, The Moomins, episode one. Roll film. Okay, fair warning. This may and probably will make me cry because I cry at cute things. If I tear up while watching this, don't be alarmed. They're gonna wake everyone up with spring sunshine. So you woke me. I was having a lovely dream about living in a watermelon. She was having a dream about living in a watermelon? They're just gonna go, they're just gonna blaze right past that. A beautiful dream about living in a watermelon. How do you, okay, moving on. I love how they have like echoes on his voice. He's like, the flowers, the flowers are out and the sun, the sun is shining. Is shining. <laughs> okay, so she says that she wanted Moomin to wake her up when spring was here. And she's like, I did say that, I guess I did. Ooh, Snufkin is playing an instrument. I like the dynamic they have going on between them. I like this banter. This is, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Snufkin went away for the winter and he's back in Moomin Valley and he's got stories to tell Moomin, but he's gonna tell him later. Okay. I love these like homes buried under those grass. It's very cute. Oh, we've got this old man looking Moomin. Oh, Mr. Hamulet. Okay, so he looks like he's a Moomin, but he doesn't hibernate. Oh, wow, this is such a beautiful view. This is how I feel when I'm out on Swamlina. So they found this hat and then they take it back to Moomin Papa. It's not his hat, so something else must be up here. 
<laughs> Ooh, I think the hat has a mind of its own. Snuffkin, he's got some mystery vibes going on. Like, I feel like he's got a secret to tell. He knows more than these people. Oh, okay, they're gonna use it as a trash can. Oh, this is the what she thinks that she's Moomin's girlfriend. Her house is dope. Dreams are all right. Yes, as long as they're not impossible. I love this. They're just like chilling, just enjoying spring, just vibing. I really like Snuffkin. He's like, I'm liking him a lot. He's just like chill, traveling bro. And he's got his green getup and his cool hat. And he just plays the harmonica sitting on the porch or on the bridge. He's got a cool vibe. Okay, so they're floating away on these little clouds. Oh, Moom and Papa is writing a memoir and they just go floating by. <laughs> I do really like little Mai. She's really cute. Okay, they're gonna play hide and seek now. She is so little. I love her. So far, this is very much reminding me of Winnie the Pooh, like a lot. And maybe that's just because that's what I grew up watching the most. We watched Winnie the Pooh all the time growing up. Yeah, I'm getting Winnie the Pooh vibes and I really like it. It's very charming and cute, although it is very light and um, clearly for children. I am enjoying it quite a bit, but we'll, let's keep going. Oh no, Moomin's getting in a hat. Oh, but the hat got smaller when he got in it. That's concerning. Who's next? They found everyone in their game of hide and seek except Moomin. <laughs> We've all been that person during hide and seek, I think. Well, he's too fat to be most places. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the heck? No, hold on. What? He turned into this like gremlin? Gosh. <laughs> so Moomin just, he just came out of this hat looking like this. Wow. Okay, so Moomin turned into this Rugrats looking character. You literally look like Tommy from Rugrats. Terrifying. Okay, this is taking a really weird turn. Oh, this is so sad. He's like genuinely distraught. Please believe me, mama. <laughs> this is so sad. He just wants his mom to call him Moomin. You can't forget your little Moomin. He looks so scared. He turns back into Moomin. He's Moomin again. They should have known by his voice. Like, his voice was the same. Okay, so they're gonna throw this hat away. They're like, gone. Gone with you, Mr. Hat. Oh, and that was it. That was it, guys. I really liked that. I wanna watch more. Okay, so... I loved it. It was honestly really cute. It gave me major Winnie the Pooh vibes and it seems very nostalgic. I can see how it's still a very, very big deal here, even being something that was made so long ago. Now that I have watched an episode, I'm going to go and see if I can find a Moomin figurine. Let's go see what I can find. I found Snuffkin and Snork Maiden. They are adorable. I love them. They're so cute. Okay, I think that's all. Thank you for joining me today on my little Moomin journey. I had a great time watching it for the first time. I think it's definitely something I will keep watching. I think being here and watching it here and being able to get tiny little figurines. Those were each two euros, by the way. I had a great time. I hope you did as well. And if you have any Moomin information for me, please leave it down in the comments. Let's have a conversation about Moomins. Now I wanna to go to Moomin World. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining me today, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Bye. You and I should start dating. What?